Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and it is my perfume collection video. A couple people, because only like this many people watch my videos. Um, perfume collection. So, I, if you've watched me for a while, since I would say about last year, or if you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you know that I have a, like a big thing for perfume. I'm a huge shoe collector and I'm a huge perfume collector. So, I have been obsessing I would say with perfume since I was maybe 18 or 19 my collection goes really really big and then I use them all and then it goes really small and then I have to start over so right now I feel like it's in the medium stage I don't have as many as I want there's a couple more that I really really want but perfumes are freaking expensive so I'll buy like one here one there sometimes if I get like a bonus at work then I'll splurge and buy two but for the most part this has been accumulated I would say for about, I would say around a year, a little less than a year. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm not a one perfume scent type of person. I don't have that one perfume that I smell like all the time. I've never been that way. Um, I always have different options. If I'm feeling fun and flirty, I'll wear a flirty perfume. If I'm feeling more like nighttime sexy, I'll wear a different perfume. So I have a little bit of mix of all of that, but you will notice that almost 80% of my perfumes are floral. I love the smell of roses, anything rose-scented, patchouli, um, musk. Anything that's floral and musky kind of like goes together with me, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. So the first one that I see is the Gucci Rush perfume, and this perfume has been around for such a long time. I remember I first actually smelled this perfume. One of my older sisters um, was living in New York still, and her one of her best friends always used to spray this and I was so obsessed with how she smelled all the time so it kind of gives me like nostalgia like it reminds me of being like 15 16 and summers in New York so last year actually when I was still living in New York I was in Sephora and I was like you know what I'm buying it it has a very very powdery very very powdery smell but it smells very sexy and musky it's light but it's like when you spray it it's in your hair I can wash my hair and I'll still smell it the next day so this is Gucci Rush. I, this is a medium size, and I'm actually, I think this is being discontinued, which makes me really sad. I'm probably going to have to buy one more before they discontinue it. I think this one was like $78. Then I have one of my OG favorites. This is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This, there's like literally that little drop left. I am in, actually I'm going to wear this today. I think it smells like a mixture of like flowers and hairspray. Like, if you think of being in high school and, like, crunching your hair and doing that and then putting hairspray in it, that's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, It's very, very strong. Like, when I walk into work and I'm wearing it, everyone can smell it right away. One of my old co-workers used to always ask me, oh, my God, what perfume are you wearing? And it was Flor Botanica by Balenciaga. It's very strong, very potent. It's a potent perfume. It's floral. It smells amazing. It's... This is a good nighttime perfume as well, but I know this is like an everyday for me. Like, I love it so much. I need to buy another one because literally I have like two and a half little drops. So there's Flora Botanica. I think I paid like $70 or $80 for this one. This is the smaller size. So there's a bigger size that's like that big. I'll probably get that one next. Then I have none other than Flower Bomb. This has been around, obviously, everybody knows forever. I used to wear this a lot about four years ago. I got it for Christmas. And I wore it out. I finished the entire bottle. And then this year for Christmas, my sister got me a new bottle. So I think, I'm not sure. I think this might be the big bottle. Um, but everyone knows this smells like flowers. Literally like a garden. That's already two out of three so far that are floral. So this flower bomb, I feel like this retails anywhere from like 80 to 120, depending on what size you get. So this is flower bomb. Then I have another classic, which is Miss Dior which is before known as Miss Dior Cherie, I believe. This is like the softest, prettiest, most rich smelling perfume. This reminds me of like going out to like a really nice dinner or it, I don't know. I don't know where I would wear this to. I wore it yesterday actually for Valentine's Day just because it's so pretty. It reminds me of like really pretty lingerie or like a, your wedding night with like pretty white lace. That's what it reminds me of, like very pretty, very princessy. This one I bought not too long ago. This is the medium size as well. I think I paid like 80 bucks for this also. This is Prada Candy Floral. All of my, all my perfumes are floral. Um, this one, I used to use Prada Candy, the original, the one that's black and hot pink. I wore that years ago when it first came out and then this one came out and I had sprayed it in Sephora one time and I was like, oh my God, it smells like 
to me, it smells like you just got out of the shower and rolled around in flowers. That makes sense. One of my coworkers, I made him smell like when I sprayed it right here and he was like, oh my God, flowers. But that makes me happy. So I got Prada Candy Floral. I bought this, I think this was cheaper. This was like $58. This is the smaller size. So like it's smaller than the size of my hand, but this is a very like clean, it smells like fresh laundry. It smells delicious. Then I have my number one perfume of all time. This is like, this is Bay. Like when you have a perfume that's Bay, this is it right here. Margie, Margie, the Mark Jacobs Daisy. This is the original Daisy. No Daisy Blossom, Bloom, whatever. No Daisy Floral, no Daisy, whatever. Just the original Daisy. This, I mean, almost everyone has smelled this. It smells like fresh flowers i love it i've only had this bottle for i would say maybe six months this is the there's one bigger than this so there's a smaller one the bigger one and then this one i actually have a really tiny version of it give me a sec so i actually have a really tiny version of it tell me this is the cutest thing ever this is like smaller than the size of my thumb like it's super tiny and cute and i have you guys will see i have a collection starting with little mini babies i'm gonna put them on a shelf soon um but yeah mark jacobs Daisy, daisy this is my number one number one number one i have that little bit left this is like my every day every single day like i walk into work and one of my coworkers, she's always like oh my god you always smell like daisy and it smells so damn good i want to get there's a new one i don't know if it's new but there's a a bottle that's black and it has a gold gold cap I think and that one is the parfum the only downside to this is that it doesn't last that long to me anyway other people might smell it on me but I don't smell it after I spray it like I drown myself in this so yeah Marc Jacobs Daisy this is actually JP's Valentine's Day gift to me last Valentine's Day and I smelled it where did I smell it no I think I just saw a picture and the name of it just like I'm like very basic. I like the same things over and over again. So this one is called Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. So all I thought of was peony and the smell of blush, even though blush doesn't have a smell. I just thought of the colors, like soft flowers, a really, I thought of a wedding that was very light blush pink and like beautiful peonies everywhere. And peonies are my favorite flowers. So this, this is pretty strong. It reminds me of being in New York. A lot of people might not like this. These are very concentrated. Like this tiny little thing was I think like $60. The bigger ones are $120. Then I have another goodie, which is Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana with a flower on top. It smells like flowers. That's all I can say. It smells very sweet, very clean, very pretty. It reminds me of like being pretty. I don't know. It just, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty smell. It's really strong. I spray this, maybe four sprays, and I'm good to go. Like, I'm done. So, this is Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. This is this, the medium size. I think I paid, like, 70 for this one. Um, I still have a little bit left, so I'm still going strong on this one. This was a very, very random buy. This is Bulgari, and this is, like, I think it's called Jasmine. Jasmine something. But one of my old coworkers in New York gave me a really small bottle of a Jasmine noir from bulgari and i loved it so much but it was a travel size so i went to try to find it and i can never find it so then randomly i was in i think marshall's <laughs> of course i was in marshall's or ross and i saw this but since in there you can't really open up the perfumes i just took like i was like you know what, screw it i'm just gonna try it and see if this is it i got home i opened it i sprayed it it smells nothing like the one that i got from my coworker, my old coworker, but it smells really really good it's very it's very nighttime this is for sure a nighttime perfume it's very sexy. It smells very expensive. To me, it doesn't smell like flowers, but it smells really, really good. I think I paid like $40 for this in one of those Ross or Marshalls. I've been wearing this seriously for years, since I was maybe like 19 or 20. This is from Zara and it's called Silk. It used to be in a different packaging and then they discontinued it and then they brought it back and they brought it looking back like this. And it smells amazing actually. It smells very, very clean and crisp. To me, it doesn't smell like flowers. It smells very, like, very much like silk. It was only, I think, like 19 bucks, and it's a toilet, but it lasts. Like, it actually does last on my skin. Um, I spray it in my hair. I spray it all over my clothes, and it lasts a very long time, and it's less than $20. So, this is Zara Silk. Another Zara, which is Zara Woman Fruity. This, it's not my absolute favorite, but it smells nice. It smells kind of like cologne. 
every time I smell it, every time I spray it, I mean, JP is like, oh my God, what are you wearing? And it's always this. Every time he reacts like that, it's because I sprayed this on myself. So this is Zara Woman Fruity. They also have a Zara Woman Oriental. Um, but this is the fruity one. It's like a little purple. I think this is like 19, 20 bucks. And this does last as well. It smells pretty good. Um, it's just not my absolute favorite. Then I have a little tiny bottle of Jimmy Choo. If you sp smell Jimmy Choo, it's like a sexy version of Flower Bomb. It is strong. Like strong. Like you spray it and it's like, I'll wash my hair. Four days later, I'll still smell this in my hair. Like it's very, very strong. My best friend gave this to me, so I don't know what she paid for it. Um, but I've had the big bottle before, and I think the big bottle is like 90 bucks. This is a little, little baby bottle, a little, little baby bottle, a little, little baby bottle. If you've been watching me for a while, you will recognize this. This is something by Bath and Body Works, and I used to use and abuse the lotion to this. It's called Mad About You. And one random day, I walked into the store, and I was like, I'm getting the perfume, whatever. And they started making perfumes of all of the lotions and scents at Bath and Body Works. So this one is the Mad About You perfume. It smells like flowers flowers soft sweet very very clean this is like what i want to spray when i don't feel like spraying perfume i'll put the lotion then i'll put this on and it smells amazing like this is something that i would love to spray in my entire room if they had a candle to this i would buy it if they had a room scent to this i would buy it i love this and i think this was like 30 dollars at bath and body works my last one is another og that i've had for a really long time and i don't wear it that much because every time i wear it people think that i'm wearing men's cologne I know a lot of Calvin Klein perfumes are his and hers. Like, you can do hers and you can do his of them. And this is the CK Into You. This is what the bottle looks like. They only sell it in, like, Perfumania and, like, Marshalls and stuff like that. This one, I think I paid maybe, like, $30, $27, maybe $30 at the very most. And it's a very strong perfume. Like, it, it lasts on your skin. It You can wear it, go to sleep, wake up, and you'll still smell it as if you just sprayed it. So it's a very, very strong perfume. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce and I paid like nothing for this. Um, so I have, I would say a pretty good amount left because I never wear it because people tell me I smell like a man. But like if JP were to wear this, I would probably love it. Um, I think it is unisex though. So if you have a man that likes citrus, this is very citrusy. Like oranges, mandarins, lemons, that's what it smells like, but it smells really good. So this is CK Into You. And then I have a tiny little baby collection of my babies. So this one is a little daisy that I love. Tiny little one. This is Lolita Lempica, which I used to have the full size of, but I never wore it, so I gave it to my sister. It is super tiny. Like, look at them. They're so cute. This is Lolita Lempica. I have My Burberry by Burberry. This is another little tiny perfume. This smells really good. I'm just not in love with it. It smells like it's very mature and very strong and very nighttime and powdery. I'm not like, oh my God, I need it. So I just have a little tiny baby one. And then I got this, this was my last one I got from Sephora. It was a Sephora perk and it's a little tiny baby. Gucci by Guilty. So like you can see, these are like literally tiny. Like all of them are little midget bottles and I love them so much. So this is how I have them stored. They don't all fit. I have like three out there, but this is what I have them on. I'm probably gonna try to get something bigger to put them on. But I had, like I said in my last video, I got this at Ross or Marshall's for $9.99. Super cute. They're all in there. Once I finish these last couple bottles, I'll be able to switch out and put different ones in there. That was my collection of my perfumes. I'm sure it'll be growing soon and I'll probably do another video soon. And any requests that you guys have or anything that you might wanna see, please leave it in the description bar or in the description bar. That's what I leave. I leave stuff in the description bar. Leave anything that you wanna see in the comments. Um, you guys have been giving me so many good suggestions, so I'm literally gonna keep following them. It is about 15 minutes till I have to go to work. So I'm going to finish making my macaroni and cheese, take to work, and be out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you in my next video. And I think that's it. Bye.